Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here to take you for a walk around the Load Trail GP22 102 by 40 foot gooseneck tandem dual deck over. This particular unit's got 35 foot of flat deck with a 5 foot dovetail with the full width max ramps. It's got the optional charcoal gray powder coat with the zinc primer. And other than that, everything here pretty much is all going to be standard equipment. This particular unit's going to weigh in a little under 10,000 pounds empty. It's going to give you a net legal payload with your tongue weight of about 16,000 pounds. Start out up front, we'll show you all the standard equipment on this particular unit. So it's got the adjustable neck coupler with the uh, spring loaded pin. It's got your dual safety set bolts. It's got your cold weather rated wire harness. That wire harness is designed to go down to negative 65 degrees in temperature. It's got your safety chains, your breakaway cable. And then it's got the I-beam neck with the uh, pin striping. Notice it's got dual jack landing gear with a full front toolbox, lockable lid. It's got grease zerts on your toolbox. And one of the newer, uh, newer designs here would be their spare tire mount. It used to be a top mount. Now it's got a swing down, so you'd simply pull the pin here. I don't know if I can get it one hand or not, but uh, not very easy to get with one hand. But if you pull your chain out, it'll swing down. Pretty slick idea for a spare tire mount. It's got uh, Sherwin-Williams Paldura powder coat. Notice the front side step. It's got LED lights. And you'll see here the Load Trail 232 sticker. So you see they cover the trailer two years, the structure three years, and two years of roadside assist on these particular units. It can be a big deal. A lot of folks mind something like this. They're a hot shotter, find themselves on the road a lot. Uh, Roadside assistance is a pretty neat program. They do covers truck and trailer for lockouts, tire changes, fluid deliveries, etc. So we have optioned this one with an optional side mount toolbox. This gives you a spot to store your chains and binders. Tie downs on this particular unit would be rub rail stake pocket and chain spools. They're on approximately alternating 12 inch centers, about two foot between pockets and two foot between spools. Trailer does have a six inch channel side rail. Now on uh, tandem dual 10K axles, industry standard used to be the 12 inch, 19 foot pound I-beam frame that you see here. Now some in the industry have moved to a 16 foot pound or even I've seen some with a 14 foot pound. Uh, but again, this does have the full 19 foot pound I-beam frame. So if it does look a little bit lower to the ground, that is because this is a pierce frame design. If you notice the top of the I-beam coming back, um, that lowers your deck height down four inches. Cross members underneath go through the frame and then the wood sits flush with the top of the I-beam. So another thing you'll notice a little bit different when you see a pierce frame, you'll see the fender well uh, fenders out of tread plate. Now you notice on this particular one that uh, your fender wells are spread. That's because this is a spread axle design. Standard on load trail is going to be the Dexter HDSS heavy duty suspension system. This is a 15,000 pound rated suspension, even though this is a 10,000 pound Dexter axle. This has a 72 inch spread on it. So it is a spread axle design. It means the trailer is going to pick up a little bit higher percentage of the tongue weight than it would otherwise. It takes a little bit of the load off the truck side. Now the Dexter HDSS, besides being a heavier duty uh, suspension with more leafs on it. It is a fully adjustable suspension. You also notice that the hangers on this are a good bit heavier duty than what would be on a typical trailer. So a lot heavier suspension. You also notice on this the uh, the underframe bridge that would be what goes between the bottom of the frame and your rub rail looking material with your channel uprights. It's designed to spread your concentrated load, just like a mini rig trailer. Your big rigs will have a certain load limit within a six foot, eight foot, 12 foot span, etc. Notice the cross member spacing is a 16 inch on center and those cross members do pierce through the beam. And then roughly every second or third cross member, depending on where at in the trailer, you'll notice the additional outrigger gussets. And then underneath the trailer, we'll also see the, the um, the uh, pipe bridge coming back from front to back, that would be in an off-road application. 
That'll help keep the trailer from racking and twisting and help keep everything straight. A lot going on underneath the trailer to help keep this uh, trailer on the road straight as an arrow. So this is 35 foot of flat deck with a five foot dove and your five foot flip over ramps. A couple nice features of the full width ramps or as Lotro calls them, the max ramps. They do fold over flat. You notice they've got the tread plate backer. Now it is smooth all the way across, which is nice. You can load a full 40 foot. It does have the traditional self-cleaning dovetail you're probably used to. And then certainly it gives you the full width loading whenever you have them down. Now this one here is also nice because you can stand the ramp up and pin it upright. And some other little details we like about how Load Trail does it. You'll notice that the treads, they take a little bit extra work and they raise them about a quarter inch so you get a little bit better traction uh, when loading. Uh, you also notice the bar that allows them to stand upright. Not all the manufacturers do that. It makes it nice. You can gain that extra five foot at the tail end back. And then uh, another one that, again, not everybody does, including some of our own manufacturers that we carry on these, uh, this locks down, just keeps that ramp uh, in place. Very simple deployment. Do it with one hand. It just keeps that ramp from rattling around. And then, of course, they give you a big grab handle for it. Self-storing. Uh, bar for the upright So moving on back the rest of the uh, the trailer here Most of your better manufacturers in the industry are going to use a 4 by 8 tube bumper Of course the ramps are as strong as as what they're supported by notice. They do put the weep hole in the end um, Five marker lights are standard your three center uh, Markers and then a stop turn tail you'll notice they throw an extra uh, Stop turn tail on and then another extra marker on the outside there. That's not required Notice the ramps are sprung both ways. I uh, didn't point out on the way back to here that the mud flaps are standard equipment on these. Uh, a lot of times that is an option. There's some extra side marker lights. You also notice there's a center side marker. So I did mention the Dexter HDSS suspension. I don't know if I said it's a 72 inch spread on these. And again, that suspension on these is fully adjustable. Very similar to a Hutch 9700. It's been on uh, big rigs for quite a while. It doesn't have an air rod suspension on a rig. It's generally gonna be a Hutch 9700. This would be your slightly miniaturized version of that. So this is a 40 footer. It is available in different lengths. We can actually go as long as 44 on these, but 40 uh, would be the most common of the bigger sizes. We generally stock this in a 40, 32, 28, and a 25 foot. I believe when you go over 34, 36 foot, the underframe bridge and the torque tube do become standard equipment. Uh, shorter than that, they would be an available option. A couple other little details we like on these. You'll notice that the net gusset goes from the vertical to the horizontal. And then it goes from the vertical to the side rail. Keeps that neck uh, pretty strong, which is especially important for a trailer this size. Uh, this unit, I guesstimated earlier a little bit on tongue weight. General rule of thumb, we use about 22% pin transfer on a gooseneck. This being a little bit longer than normal, probably a more accurate rule of thumb would be roughly from the center to front axle to the neck. Tends to be about 1%. I think your actual tongue weight on this, depending on how you have it loaded, is probably going to be about 30%. Um, keep in mind, a 53-foot big rig, uh, they tend to run, give or take, about 50% pin weight, and they're not a whole lot longer than this guy here. There are some available options. 12K axles, electric hydraulic disc brakes, air ride suspension are all available. We've got the one side toolbox, we can do them on the other side, wheel simulators, etc. Uh, but as you see here, one of the more common setups. Now we do have a lot of folks on 40 footers that uh, are hauling freight. If so, on this one, we have placed a few uh, winch binders, uh, roughly every five foot on center. I believe there should be about 10 of them there on a 40 footer, normally front back and about five foot in between. 
you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.